Hello, my name is Ryan Botro and I'm an NIR Online Process Specialist here at Buki. And today I'm in our Newcastle lab to talk about increased production efficiency and reduced emissions and alternative fuels via NIR Online monitoring. Concerns over the short and long-term availability of petroleum-based products and their environmental impact have caused more industries and businesses to seek alternative fuels. By improving efficiency and the utilization of low-carbon fuels, companies can secure energy needed for their business, all while reducing their carbon footprint or even achieving a net zero carbon emission. The Buki Analyzer, as you can see here in some of our benchtop models, provide real-time values for parameters such as chemical oxygen demand, total solids, TKN, pH, TDS, VFA, acetic acid, alkalinity, and more. Frequently, companies would have to pay to dispose of their waste and to monitor their environmental output. Now companies are not only saving money, but they're making money utilizing the same waste. From tires, wood, animal waste, and wastewater, all are being used to create alternative fuels. Keys to a fast ROI include minimizing influent energy and maximizing the waste loading capacity. Simply put, you're trying to spend less time to produce more. Until recently, optimizing the process was a highly challenging task. Samples were pulled ad hoc and sent to a lab for analysis. Some of the data, like COD, or chemical oxygen demand, could take days to measure. The slow feedback loop doesn't allow for any meaningful process adjustments to optimize the energy yield or to lower the carbon emissions. A real-time measurement system was needed to fully realize the energy and the revenue potential for these alternative fuel resources. Enter NIR Online. NIR is short for Near Infrared Spectroscopy. It is a rapid, non-contact, non-destructive measurement that has been used for decades in some industries to measure sample composition and other sample qualities all simultaneously. Spectroscopy is the study of light interacting with matter. In the case of NIR, we're shining a light of a specific energy and wavelength onto the sample, NIR light. The wavelengths of NIR light are then absorbed or reflected by the sample, which tell us the molecular composition of the sample. Peaks and valleys in the spectra are the result of these molecular vibrations from organic functional groups like OH, CH, CO, and NH. We can use this resulting spectra in combination with primary method data to build calibrations that predict multiple sample properties within the process, all simultaneously and all in real time. The application of NIR online sensors to monitor influent material, processing, and finished materials in real time has dramatically impacted the alternative fuel production in the ROI. Let's look at a real example. Valkyrie is a Buki customer that is currently utilizing our NIR online process sensors to monitor anaerobic digesters' real-time values for parameters such as chemical oxygen demand, total solids, TKN, pH, TDS, and more of their influent materials. Valkyrie then applies their knowledge and software to analyze the data to determine the next steps for the AD on increasing, reducing material input, which improves the energy required, the throughput of material, and the production of the alternative fuel. An animal waste facility implementing the Buki Analyzer and utilizing Valkyrie improved their daily kilowatts per hour per day from 4 to 8,000 to 10 to 18,000. Here's what the animal waste facility had to say about the impact of the Valkyrie and the NIR online sensor. The Valkyrie system has provided a significant risk mitigation factor. We've been able to operate our digester at a higher level than anticipated in operational planning and that has resulted in the increased gas production and revenues. Given available feedstocks and current production levels, we are in the process of sourcing an additional generator to increase our electrical output to match the gas production that the digester system has now been able to produce. Here's a clip from Will, president of Valkyrie, to explain more. We've just completed our first full trial at a food waste anaerobic digester in Middlebury, Indiana, called Culver Duck. In this case study that we per performed and, and did over the last four months of this trial run, right? we were able to actually increase the energy production by more than 200%. In addition to that, while we were going through this study, we were able to look at those values that we were watching and monitoring and be able to predict their energy output in a few days and be able to find areas where there was issues with their production and things that could have resulted in potential upsets from the TOC to TKN ratio, or by looking at the alkalinity and spikes, being able to see other upsets that would have occurred. In addition, we were also able to watch and monitor pH and volatile fatty acids to observe drops or increases in those numbers to be able to identify when foaming events or other biological incidences would have occurred. In four months, the facility did not have a single shut down, not even for a minute. It kept operating the entire time. 
And on top of that, the production increased by almost double because we were able to monitor it 24 seven and shift away from being reactionary to being proactive. Anaerobic digesters are just one segment that the Valkyrie system can be applied to. Additional industries such as water, wastewater, pharmaceutical manufacturing, animal waste, recycled materials, and more can all utilize this real-time analysis. I hope this discussion has helped you understand the potential that real-time data offers in the case of alternative fuel production. For more information or to get a consultation with an NIR Online Application Specialist, visit Buki.com and click on the Support tab.